Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang YouTube channel. Today we're solving yet again another Google question, lead code 2013, detect squares. Before we get into it, you guys know the drill, like and leave a comment on the video, it helps the YouTube algorithm. All right, you were given a stream of points and an XY plane. Design an algorithm that adds new points from a stream into a data structure. Duplicate points are allowed and should be treated as different points. And given a query point, Count the number of ways to choose three points from the data structure such that the three points and the query point form an axis aligned square with positive area. An axis aligned square is defined as a square whose edges are all the same length and are either parallel or perpendicular to the x axis and the y axis. What we want to do here is implement the detect squares class, which will initialize the object uh, when called. We'll also have a add method, which takes a point and adds that point uh, to the data structure. We'll also have a count method, which counts the number of ways to form an axis aligned square uh, with the point x, y, as described above. Okay, so that's the question prompt. There isn't enough space for me to actually go through an example, so I'm gonna wipe all of this away and we'll be back momentarily with an example. Okay, so we read the question prompt. Now let's uh, think of an example. So. The official leak code examples are actually really shit. So what we're going to do is we're actually just going to draw one out. Uh, so let's assume that we have a number line here, right? And excuse the terribly not straight lines, but it doesn't really matter. So let's say we have a point here, right? Some point, this is going to be at some uh, X coordinate and some Y coordinate, right? So we want to build a square. So in order to build a square, obviously we need four points and we want to connect them. So what we want to do is we want to check, okay, we know that the square has to be parallel to the X axis and parallel to the Y axis, right? So it can't be some like weird square where it's kind of like floating in space this way where it's kind of tilted or something like it has to be parallel to both the axes, right? So what this means is, you know, we could have a point here, we could have a point here and a point here, that would be one valid square. Um, but remember that we have to, so say we pick a point, right? And let's say the distance between these points is four. In order for it to be a square, obviously all of the points now need to have a distance of four, right? So what we wanna do is we need to check whether or not we can actually build a square. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to track for every point that we have, um, right? We have some X and Y coordinate for that point. What we want to do is we want to track all of the points that have the same X coordinate. Uh, and then what we can do there is we can, you know, basically find out, okay, how do we build our square? So we're going to need one thing um, on the same X point. We're going to need one that's on the same Y, but a different X. And then we're going to need that diagonal. Um, so we have to basically check all those four points and remember there's actually multiple squares we can build We don't just have to do this um, lower square. We could actually do a square higher up here So that could be one square or we could have a square here or we could have a square here Right, so we need to check basically all four of these points um, To see if we can build a square, right? So this is our original point here in the middle and we want to check, you know, for all basically all the points that we can make and we'll keep track of a dictionary which is basically in a map for every x coordinate a list of all the y coordinates that we have we're basically going to try to build uh squares right and we know that once we figure out one distance so let's say that let's kind of wipe all of this away we've picked you know our one uh coordinate here right so let's just say we pick this coordinate um to work with Obviously, this is going to define some distance D, right? And we have to basically check points um, for that same distance. So this coordinate here, if this is X comma Y, then this one will be X, Y minus D, right? Because it's D lower. This one will be X minus D comma Y. And then this one will be X minus D, Y minus D. So basically, once we figure out um, you know, the length from basically choosing one of our points here, then we have to basically find all of these points and we have to do it for basically, you know, all of the possible squares that we could form. So that is the g basic gist of the algorithm. We're going to keep a map, which is going to map for every X, 
we're going to maintain a list of all the y coordinates we have for it and we're essentially going to see whether or not we can actually build um, this this uh, squares here and we'll basically count up all of the ones we can so um, what we're gonna do is we're basically just going to you know count uh, so actually we won't be keeping track of the Y's exactly we'll actually be keeping track of um, a dictionary which actually maps each Y to its count um, and the reason that we need its count is because if you remember from the question prompt what ends up happening is if you have the same Y um, then you just treat them as separate points so you could basically create a square with the same uh, y coordinates so you'd want to count it uh, multiple times so we'll just keep track of the count here for each of the y's uh, given an x coordinate so that's the general gist of what we want to do hopefully that kind of gives you some intuition as how we want to solve it let's now actually go to the code editor and type this up and you'll see what we mean here so I'll see you in the code editor We're in the code editor let's write this so we know that we need to initialize our data structure here, which is basically going to be a um, set of dictionaries, right? So we're going to have a dictionary where the keys are the X coordinate and the value is going to be another dictionary, which actually for each Y coordinate will contain its count. So let's define that. So we're going to say self dot points. And this is simply going to be a default dictionary. Uh, where the default key is actually going to be another default dictionary, uh, except this time it's just going to be storing numbers, right? So remember that the reason we want default dict uh, int here is that actually when we look up a point, uh, it could be the case that we actually don't have it, um, which means that we want its default value to be zero, because uh, when we do the calculations, Obviously, we don't want to have a key error and we don't want to have an incorrect key. So we want it to be set to zero if it doesn't exist, which is going to mean that we can't form that square and therefore it should be zero as it makes sense, right? We can't form the square, therefore we shouldn't be counting anything. So we need that zero and you'll see why in a second. So let's now do the add uh, point one. So we'll get a point and we'll say that the X, Y, so let's decouple the point uh, will equal point, right? because it obviously gives us an X and a Y coordinate. So now what we want to do is all we want to say is self dot points uh, for that X. We want to insert into the Y. Uh, we basically just want to increment the count for that one. So simple enough. Uh, now the count, uh, which is, I guess, the meat of this problem. Again, we're going to be given a point. So let's deconstruct it and get um, our X and our Y coordinate. Now uh, we essentially just want to we need to figure out the count, right? So in the beginning, this is going to be zero because we haven't formed any squares yet. Now what we want to do is remember, we're just going to choose all of the uh, Y coordinates that share the same uh, X coordinate for our thing. And then what we're going to do is we're going to try to find um, the other two points on that square, right? So we'll have like the diagonal and then we'll have uh, one of the other uh, X coordinates and the Y coordinate, right? So let's think about this. So we're going to say for every Y, so we're going to try to form a square with basically every single Y coordinate for that given X. So we're going to say for Y, uh, actually, we want to call this something else. Um, let's call it Y2 uh, in self dot points uh, for our given X. We are going to basically remember we need to calculate the um, the difference between our coordinate because that's going to be how long our side is. Remember that a square has the same uh, length on all sides, so we basically need to find points which are equidistant um, from all of the from basically our, each side needs to be um, the same distance from the other points. Um, otherwise, it's not going to be a square, right? So let's calculate the delta here, and the delta is basically going to be the difference absolute value between y and uh, y2. So that's going to be basically the difference uh, in the y. And now what we want to do is um, we essentially just want to find all those points uh, and we're going to try making a square. One thing that we have to realize is that um, we obviously don't want to count ourselves twice. So if our current y actually equals um, our y, then we, we have to ignore it. We can't actually um, build that square there. So we're going to say if if not delta, uh, then we just continue on to the next point because we can't use ourselves to build a square, right? Um, because then we'd only have one point and it'd be a triangle. Um, so we need to have uh, a unique point here. So if uh, we don't have 
uh, any difference between the points, that means that they're the same one, so we just continue. Uh, otherwise, we're going to increment our count. So we basically need to find the square that could be on the left and it could be on the right. So we're gonna say, remember that we need to do self.points, if you remember from our diagram, we're gonna say x, um, comma y, um, let's see, x comma, oh, sorry, y2, and then we're gonna multiply this by all the points that we have for, remember we now need to decrement our x, so we're gonna say x minus delta, um, and then our y will stay fixed. And now we want to say, um, let's see, uh, multiplied by self dot, uh, should be self dot points, sorry, self dot points. Um, so how do we wanna increment this? So we wanna say x minus delta again, and we wanna do with uh, y2 here this time. So uh, actually these should all be y2, sorry. Yeah, we wanna use that other one. So that would be creating one square. Remember there's uh, another square, so you can have one to the left and one to the right. So we need to account for both of those. So we're gonna say self.points, um, and this time it's gonna be x, and then we're gonna use y2 again. And we are going to do times self.points and we're gonna multiply this time x plus delta using our y2, uh, multiplying it by self.points of, and then this time for that last angle, we need, or sorry, not last angle, last point, x plus delta and um, the original uh, y here. So uh, let's see, I think I may have made a mistake here. I think this should be y as well. Let me just double check my notes here. Um, yeah, that looks fine. So yeah, this is the original Y. Yeah, that's fine, right? Because we have to go to the left of our point, we have to go to the right of our point, we have to go down uh, to find that one point and then to the left or to the right of it. So again, we are multiplying values here. And the reason this makes sense is because remember, this is a default dictionary. If this key doesn't actually exist, it's gonna to default to zero, and obviously this whole thing is gonna be zero, so we don't actually count anything. The only time we count it is when we have a defined amount of actual points here uh, for each one of these. So we will only count if we can actually form the square. So essentially what we're doing is building the square to the left and then also building the square to the right, if you remember from the diagram. Um, and then the last thing we need to do is now that we've made sure that we actually captured all the points, um, we essentially just want to return our count and we should be done here. Hopefully I haven't made any syntax mistakes as it is a little bit confusing with all of the um, the different like X, Y2, Y1. So hopefully that's fine. I'm just gonna run this real quick. And okay, it seems to be accepted. I don't think I've made any mistakes at this point. Ah, perfect, accepted. So that is the solution. Now let's actually think about the uh, time and space complexity. For the time complexity, let's think about this. For the add, all we're doing is we are basically inserting a point into our um, dictionary here. So this is just gonna be um, big O of one. Uh, I guess space complexity for this one, it's a bit, well, it's hard because we have a stream of numbers coming in as per the, the problem solution. So technically, I guess we don't really have to worry about um, space complexity here on this one. So we can kind of just ignore it. Um, I mean, the, the total amount of space that we're gonna have is just gonna be big O of n, right? Where n is the number of points that we're given. So n equals, um, fuck, number of points. So that's gonna be the space complexity overall. Uh, it's hard to kind of give it for each one because we don't really define any space uh, for those. Anyway, for count, uh, what we do is in the worst case, all of the points will actually have the same Y as our X here. So we basically have to go through every single point that we've seen so far. So in the worst case, our time complexity here is gonna be big O of N uh, in the count um, method. So that is how you solve detect squares. I think this one is pretty cool, uh, pretty intuitive. I mean, you have a point and then you basically just try to build all of the, um, the squares that you can. Um, how you do that is kind of the, the crux of this problem, but really not that complicated, right? You just figure out um, one point that's possible and then you check uh, basically both to the right and to the left to see if you can form a square. And then you just add up all of the possible squares that you can find. So really not too bad, more of like a geometric question, just kind of figuring out how to figure out the, 
the coordinates, but I mean, it's, it's simple. You just figure out the delta between the, the y's and that's kind of your length. And then you just apply that to the actual um, variables here. So nothing too bad. Um, definitely an easier one, uh, surprising because it's a Google question, but oh well. Anyway, uh, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and a comment. It really helps me out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to see more content like this, subscribe to the channel. Otherwise, thanks so much for watching and have a great rest of your day.